Well, I suppose this is gonna work, even though you can see how sloppy Vin sleeps. Literally, we slept in different beds last night because we were so tired and the beds looked so small. I was like, yeah, um, so I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> I'm also currently doing a hand mask. My mom got me this like ages ago and I've literally carried it with me everywhere wanting to use it and I never have and I'm so excited to be using it now because my hands are super dry because I just got a spray tan. But anyway, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm about to speak this afternoon at an event called Marketing United with a company that puts it on called Emma. And I'm really excited about it, like literally. I don't know if you've seen a few videos in the last couple of months. I just got done reading Mel Robbins' The Five Second Rule, which is not a rule about dropping food on the ground. The concept of The Five Second Rule is so simple and yet so groundbreaking that you are going to just laugh at how it actually works. Mel Robbins is speaking and I can say I've made it because I'm gonna be speaking on the same stage as her. I'm like opening up for her. This is like a female speaker concert and I am the opener. I'm gonna get you hype. Mel doesn't need me to get you hype, but let's be, let's be honest. I'm just trying to milk this for all it's worth. <laughs> Look who I just ran into in the hallway. We Hi. go to the same hotel. It's fine. It's totally yes, normal. Yes, post-workout. So, like, oh I've gosh. got my hair like this, and I've got my workout You're on. better than me today. The, I've got the nipples showing through, too, which is really Sorry. not a good thing. Also, really hoping Vin doesn't walk out here naked because I had to turn the camera. Make sure you show them your hands. I did. I showed them my hands. Did you show them your, your mask? I showed them my mask. They're very excited about the mask, just as excited as you. Are, are you, what are you doing? I'm vlogging. On your camera or like on Instagram oh, story? I'm vlogging on my camera and you're interrupting me. Oh, so you can just edit this? I, yeah, in theory I could just edit this out, yes. Don't do that though. Mm -hmm. All right, it's time to be quiet. Seriously! So I haven't done a lot of this day in the life vlogging in a while. It would have been December of 2017. Obviously a lot of things sort of like were changing and I was changing the name of the channel and oh my goodness, this robe is getting a little risky. The schedule was changing, just a lot of stuff. So I was kind of, I think the biggest thing was that I stopped day in the life vlogging because on the channel I was trying to just get back to basics. I had a, a little bit of a new idea of what I wanted to share with content. It's been very uh, time management, productivity heavy, you probably have noticed that. And I think it's continued that way because you like it so much, which is great. Because um, I was just sort of testing things in January and maybe early February and then it was just like things just started going so well that I just started building off of that. So life casting didn't really play a role. But I thought on this trip to Nashville that I would at least document it because I am really excited about it just to see how this goes. I don't actually know when I'm gonna post this. I actually told Vin, and Vin will tell me I say the word actually a lot. I've noticed I, I say the word. I know. I want to tell her that she says the word actually so much. And I'm like, Vin, this is my, this, I'm just being myself. I was telling Vin that I didn't want to start sharing life cast vlogs again until I hit another milestone, which because I think it's because I just wanted to focus on what was working. Focus on what is working as as much as possible, but it's working so well. I told Vin I'm not going to live cast on the channel again until I hit 200,000 subscribers, but that is turning out to be a much shorter period of time <laughs> than I anticipated. I think we hit 100,000. Was that in the end of February? It was the end of February, and so the way things are going, 200 is going to show up a lot sooner. I thought it was literally going to go a year without posting a life cast type of video, really stay focused on our chats in my office and things like that. But um, I'm filming this now because I'm like, well, I should probably have this in the hopper just in case because this is a really fun trip. I'm also taking a lot of fun trips in the next couple of weeks. I'm, next week, 
I'm going to Corpus Christi to speak and then I'm going straight to Seattle for a little work with Pick Monkey. The following week I'm gonna pop over to Raleigh for a day. So there's a lot going on this April. I thought this would be a good time to just start showing you kind of what's happening. I'll be casting with Lucy. What? I'll be casting all those moments. Vin Vin will are you gonna be on the Schmenzo channel? Everyone wants to know what happened to the Schmenzo channel. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, Lucy was at the beginning of this vlog. I'm so excited. She's been doing much better lately. She's been kind of sick off and on and just old, like old people syndrome essentially. She's an old person. I don't know if you've heard. My dog is an old, old person. But anyway, so yeah, that's what's happening. I'm documenting this. I'm really excited about the fact that I just rambled on for eight and a half minutes, but most of it was Vin holding me back, so. brushing his teeth now. These are the precious moments you have to savor. Yeah, and I think I think this is done. And it took off some of my spray tan too, but that's okay because it was a little unnatural. But my hands are nice and smooth. Looks good. Do you see me in the background? Yes, because my camera is facing the door. Like literally, yes. If you do not have clothes on, this can't go on YouTube. Well, this has to go on the vlog. No, it doesn't. It actually really doesn't have to. My face out here has to go on the left. Okay, well, we can take the face. Hello, wave. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Vincenzo Landino. I have my own stuff. Also, there have been people who have been emailing you on the hello one. So far, so good. Really good, thank oh, you. Right. Um, saying very nice things, so I've took some of those video ideas. Okay. Um, in the hello, um, in the hello box. Oh, don't there. let me forget mm. to. Um, we gotta start looking at that radio email. already falling flat we gotta fix this I cannot keep track of my life right now I don't know what I would do without Meg the fact that we get to have an in-person meeting right now is like making my whole life it's making my whole life right now she's a Trello master I'm re-wearing this dress from London because I love it so much but I totally forgot <laughs> that it's like the first slide on my deck, so it's gonna be a very interactive experience. I'm wearing the same dress as I'm wearing in my deck. But then, but I think we probably just go in. Okay. Hey, Hi. Um, Amy Landino reporting for duty. Okay, great, welcome. Thank you, Amy. What a great session. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Feel this though. It does feel a little hardier than the RX100 right here. Like, okay. Right we first. need to we need to tell them we'll do this later. There's people waiting for my books right now, and Mel just dropped me in line, so I think we should just go to the book signing. Okay. Don't you think? Who do you have to tell? No, I'm gonna let her take all the time she wants, and I'm gonna do. All the right, book signing. go. I'm about to interview Mel Robbins and I'm freaking out a little bit. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Oh, it's fine. It's literally fine. Nobody intentionally wakes up and says, today I'm going to think only shitty things about myself. Mm, yeah. Those thoughts yeah. Drift when you're not paying attention. And so you can go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, awaken your prefrontal cortex, interrupt the habit of doubting yourself or saying you're unworthy, and boom, once you hit one, you've actually already taken action that is completely different than stopping to think. Yet the thing that's always in your control is your ability to think and do whatever you want next. Short sleeves. Put a coat on. <laughs> Should I be worried? Honestly. Honest. Okay, guys. Literally. Oh my god, what is wrong with that? <laughs> I'm back at Marketing United. It's day two. We're just going to do a couple of quick interviews. I'm going to be interviewing this fine fella. Not this one. Or that one. That one. Come on, autofocus. Pick the right dude. <laughs> that is Jay Akunzo. We're gonna get started, I think. We got one interview today, just one. That's okay. That's okay, right, Mac? It's always okay. It's totally fine. Okay. It's every everything is everything is always, always okay. okay. It's all about perspective. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are we doing? So I'm obviously back in the office. Uh, I'm not only back in the office, but it's been like months since I filmed this vlog. Um, like I said, 
I was kind of hanging on to it for a while. I was trying to get a little bit ahead of things because I, I thought maybe we would want these Day in the Lifes to come back. But I wanted to get on here to sort of end this so we could actually have a conversation about it because like I said, I stopped doing them for a while and I asked you guys recently actually in a poll, you know, what would you like to see come to the channel? And it wasn't like an either or situation. There were a lot of you guys were like, oh man, I would love Day in the Life vlogging, but I'm really excited about the book club too. So the book club ended up winning, but there was still so much feedback that, you know, like this sort of follow me around thing could be cool too. So I just want to ask you, you know, how was this video? How was this vlog? I just want to get a feel for what you would like to see from me other than sort of sitting in this office and giving ideas and tactics and things like that. You know, what can we do next? I want to show you these things in action. I just had peanuts, so I probably have salt like all over my face. <laughs> I tried to change this up a little bit. I just feel like a lot of these day in the lives get to be so much of the same. And I just thought if I could change anything about the ones that I watch, you know, I would add things to it. Not necessarily to take away from the visuals, but I think you can multitask a lot of the time when you're watching these things in terms of what you can take in. So it may have seemed a little bit weird that I kind of added um, a ticker of, of words and information. And I just thought, you know, if I was watching this video and I was trying to get the most value of, you know, what is it like to be Amy on this day doing this thing? You know, what is it that I would want to know? You know, who is this guy picking her up? You know, why did she decide to wear that on stage? You know, was that the best idea? Was it the most convenient? What is she doing when she's meeting with her assistant? You know, I just try to think like you as much as possible to see, you know, what would you want. So I need to know if that was a good idea or not a not a good idea, if you would like to see something else, if um, there's another scenario entirely that you would like to see more of. I mean, I really want to have a lot more fun and a lot more experiences with you guys. And especially right now because it's summer, I just feel like there's so much more opportunity to do stuff right now. The book club is a perfect thing to be doing during summer, so I'm excited that we're kicking that off. And um, and I just want to be able to take you with me more. Like I said, I'm, I'm bebopping all over the place all the time. And so any chance I can make that a valuable takeaway for you is, you know, Somebody's alarm just had to go off right then, huh? So yeah, I'm traveling a ton. I wanna bring you with me and I just wanna make sure that I'm doing it in a way that is worthy of your time because I do not take that for granted at all. I just got done filming some videos. I gotta get ahead. We're about to do quite a bit of travel coming up and um, based on this conversation, you know, we'll see if you follow along or not. It's completely up to you. I, of course, wanna know if that's something you want. I love breaking out my little vlogging camera. I never get to talk to this guy. I'm always talking to this other monster over here. It's not really a monster. I mean, let's be real, Amy. You're a little 70 B. Speaking of book club, can you see Tyra in the background? She's still there. <laughs> She's still there from that photo op. <laughs> So yeah, just like we usually always have a question of the day, your question of this video is, you know, did you enjoy this? And would you like to see more of it? Please share that in the comments. I will be reading. Trust me when I say I will be reading. So I'd love to hear from you. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes. You thought I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> and remember to continue to go after the life that you want and get a stress ball because these things are madly addicting. Cheers.